Hello, this is Stefan Lacasse, Account Executive with Barracuda Networks Canada. Joining me is my colleague, Steve Fiorelli, Systems Engineer, also with Barracuda Networks Canada. The goal of today's demonstration is to show you three ways that you can enable secure remote access with your Barracuda CloudGen firewall. There is increased demand for secure remote access capabilities as the ability to work away from the office while maintaining a secure IT infrastructure and protecting organizational and personal systems is absolutely paramount. Barracuda customers around the world depend on our solutions for IT security, data protection, and peace of mind. Specifically, in this video, we'll be presenting the CloudGen Firewall's remote access portfolio including the Network Access Client, CUDA Launch App, and browser-based SSL VPN, all included with the Advanced Remote Access subscription. First, Steve will walk us through the solutions, present a demo, and then I'll wrap up with how Advanced Remote Access is licensed. Perfect, thanks Stefan. So today, we're gonna to be looking at how employees can work anywhere, anytime. So whether it's their home office, whether they decide to go to a coffee shop or the library, wherever they are, they're going to have the ability to work as if they were working in the office. So the Barracuda Remote Access Portfolio is available in a couple different flavors, and they're all delivered from the Barracuda Cloud Gen Firewall. The Cloud Gen Firewall is available as a physical appliance, it can also run as a virtual machine on popular hypervisors such as VMware and Hyper-V. And it's also available in the major cloud platforms such as Microsoft Azure, AWS, and Google Cloud Platform. There's three key components that we're gonna be looking at today. The first is the more traditional type of VPN. This is the network access client. The second is CUDA Launch. CUDA Launch is available as an app that can run cross-platform. And the third is the browser-based access way of connecting to a VPN. Here's what the remote clients look like. So on the left, we have the traditional network access client. And typically what would happen is a user would enter their username and password. Now this can be the username and password that they typically use to log into their Windows domain. They can also utilize a one-time password to have multi-factor authentication. The tunnel that is created by this VPN client can either be a full tunnel, meaning that all of the user's traffic from their laptop is going to be tunneled back through the corporate firewall, or you could also deploy this in a split tunnel mode, which means their internet traffic goes out their own internet gateway, and their traffic that's destined for internal servers will come in through the CloudGen firewall. The second type of client you can see here is the CUDA Launch app. Now this app can run on major platforms such as Windows and Mac. It's also available for your smartphone. You can run this on your iOS, Apple device, or your Android phone. And the nice thing is that the look and the feel is gonna be the exact same. The way that CUDA Launch operates is by publishing apps. So anytime you want a user to be able to access a resource, they basically are gonna have to click on the icon representing that app, that service that you want them to access. The third type is the browser-based SSL VPN. And you can see here we have a, a browser in the screenshot. And the idea is the same. The user would log in with a username and password, and then they would have published internal apps that they can access. Uh, a great feature available with the remote access solution from Barracuda is time-based one-time passwords. There's a couple ways that this can be rolled out. The most common would be a self-enrollment where the user simply accesses a portal page. They can scan the QR code or enter it manually, and that'll allow them to be able to use the app that they have on their phone as a second factor in authentication. Another way this can be done is through an automatic enrollment process started by the administrator. The administrator would configure the CloudGen firewall to send out this automatic enrollment email, which the user can then do use to configure their device. The time-based one-time passwords uses the format of RFC 6238. 
essentially what that means is the most popular types of time-based one-time passwords uh, available are available on the CloudGen firewall. So you're going to have Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, Authy, among others. The nice thing with the time-based one-time passwords is that they're inexpensive. You don't have to have tokens. They're also something that can work offline. And compared to SMS passcodes, uh, there's no wait time to receive it. And you also don't have to worry about an attack such as a phone porting attack when you use a time-based one-time password. All right, it's live demo time. Now we're going to take a look at what this looks like on the screen. All right, the first thing that you can see on my screen is the Barracuda VPN client that you would have running on your desktop. It's easy to use. Simply select the VPN connection that you want to use from the drop down menu, enter your username and your password, and click on the connect button. Once you do this, you'll be connected to your network and you'll be able to use your laptop as if you were sitting right in the office. Pretty simple. The second type of VPN we're gonna look at is the browser-based SSL VPN. Here you can see a customized version of this page. The idea to log in is the same. You would come in and enter your login and your password, click on the login button, and you'd be presented with a screen where you would have published apps. Okay, I'm going to show you what some of these look like in the next part when we look at CUDA launch. Okay, now let's take a look at CUDA launch. Here is CUDA launch. CUDA launch is going to have the same look and feel whether you're running this on your desktop or whether you're running this on your mobile phone or your iPad. I'm going to click on the demo to be able to see some of the different apps that you can publish here. I'm going to log in. And I'm going to be presented with apps that the user can utilize. There's many different types of apps. The first and most common would be an internal web app that you want to make available to your users. Perhaps you have an internal CRM. What you would do is you would configure inside the CloudGen firewall an icon that is going to point to that URL of that internal service. When the user logs in here, the only way that they can access that internal website is by coming here and clicking on this button. When they click this button, their browser is going to load the web page through the tunnel. So I just clicked on that customer relationship management, and now I'm loaded that through this demo site here. Everything that I'm accessing in this browser for this particular website is all going through the CUDA launch VPN tunnel. Another common type of app that is published would be remote desktop. And there's a couple ways you can do that. One would be with a single sign-on. So if I was to click on this version of the Windows RDP, it would allow the user a single sign-on. So the credentials that they enter to log in to CUDA launch can be used to automatically start their remote connection to whatever system you've configured. The other way you can do it is with a credential prompt. So for example, if I click on this button here, I'm going to get a credential prompt, which will allow the user to be able to log in to the remote desktop. One of the ways many customers deploy this is to log into their own personal machines, or for example, if they're running remote desktop services, formerly known as terminal services, they can have one box that allows multiple users to log in and work off of. Another feature of CUDA launch would be the ability to share file folders. So under the folder section here, we would actually give the user an ability to be able to share files. So if you have an SMB share that you want the user to be able to drag and drop local files to the remote system, you can do this with the folders options here. There's also this VPN capability. So earlier, we looked at the full network access client that allows a user to have their laptop connected as if they're sitting in the office. Well, the nice thing is that CUDA Launch integrates with that. You can actually publish different VPN profiles here. When the user clicks on any of these VPN profiles, it's going to allow that agent to establish a full VPN tunnel to the CloudGen firewall so that they can operate as if they're sitting directly in the office. 
Some other features of the CUDA Launch app are the ability to publish dynamic apps. A dynamic app is a, an app that allows an administrator to very easily turn it on and off using CUDA Launch itself. So for example, if you wanted to publish a firewall rule that lets employees access a certain app, an administrator can log into CUDA Launch and with the click of a button on one of the apps that are published, be able to turn that rule on and off, making life very simple. So that is CUDA Launch. And that is our demo for today. There are available resources for the remote access portions that we looked at today. The Barracuda Remote VPN Access page is available on our main website. We also have a product page for the CloudGen firewall itself, which includes an overview, case studies, white papers, and solution briefs. We also have a Barracuda campus, which is basically the Barracuda documentation library and also training and certification library. You'll find specific courses related on advanced remote access in the Barracuda campus. Thanks, Steve. Regarding how this is all licensed, there are a couple remote access features that are included in the base level licensing called Energize Updates, such as unlimited client to site users per device, dedicated VPN protocol, and regular support and updates. To get the most remote features out of your Barracuda firewall and benefit from the solutions we've showed you today, you'll need to have the advanced remote access subscription active on your contract. It is a simple add-on SKU that co-terms to the support dates on your existing support. There are no per-user licenses to worry about. Please do not hesitate to reach out to myself and your authorized Barracuda reseller for a quote. Visit the links provided for more information. Thank you and have a great day.